Question one. So we need to find the letter that will fit into both sets of brackets to complete the words in front of the brackets and begin the word after the brackets. So we'll start by looking at the letter G. So S-W-A-G. This is a word. This says swag. It can mean money or goods taken by a thief. Then if we take the I-L-L -L and add the letter G at the front, we have the word gill. Gills are the respiratory organs of a fish and gill is the singular form of this. Then if we look on the right hand side, if we take the CO and add the letter G, we have the word cog. I feel like a small cog in a big wheel. And then if we take the A-R-G-E and add the letter G at the front, this is not a word. So we'll move on to the N. So S-W-A-N, so this is a word, swan, a swan is a type of bird. And then if we take the I-L-L -L and add the N at the front, we have the word nil. This is an archaic word, it means to be unwilling, will not. Then on the right hand side, if we take the C-O and add the letter N, we have the word con. Be careful, they might try and con you. If we take the A-R-G-E and add the letter N at the front, this is not a word. So we'll move on to the Y. So S-W-A-Y, this is a word, sway. The trees will sway in the wind. And then if we take the I-L-L -L and add the letter Y at the front, this actually is a word. It's a Scottish word meaning ale, as in the drink. And then on the right-hand side, if we take the C-O and add the Y, we have the word coy. It irritates me when my niece acts all coy. Then if we take the A-R-G-E and add the letter Y at the front, this is not a word. So now we'll move on to the letter B. So S-W-A-B, this is a word, swab. The doctor took a swab to send off to be tested. Then if we take the I-L-L -L and add the letter B at the front, we have the word bill. I will pay the bill in a minute. On the right hand side, if we take the C-O and add the letter B, we have the word cob. A cob is a male swan. And then if we take the A-R-G-E and add the B at the front, we have the word barge. Please don't barge me out of the way. So we found the answer. It is D, the letter B. And now all you need to do is mark your answer on the answer sheet. So you need a horizontal line next to the letter B. And don't forget to make sure you're at the correct question number. So this is question one.